Okay, so one of the things which is different at GCSE um, to AS level is the ability to look at the electron structure and draw the electron structures for some atoms. So we're going to have a look at sodium here now. And how you might have drawn this at GCSE, you probably would have put two electrons in the first shell, which will appear in the second, eight electrons in the second shell, one electron in the third shell because sodium is element number 11 two in the first eight in the second and one in the third and you probably would have drawn out two comma eight comma one no problem right at as level it's quite different to this and i want to run through this with you now just so that you're clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those three shells and we're going to zoom in on them a bit. So we're going to put the first one down here. The nucleus will be down here. Okay, right at the, right the bottom of the paper. So this is our first shell. Okay. And this is our second shell. Now we're not I'm taking up small parts of it, but obviously it would be a bigger sort of circle around the nucleus. And I'm going to draw the third shell part of it up here. Okay, so I've kind of taken a cross section through the atom here. The nucleus is down here. First shell, second shell, third shell. So the electrons we've drawn in there then will be two in here, eight here. Eight in there and one in there. Two eight one. Now at AS level <clears throat> things change quite a bit. There's a little bit more to it than this. Okay. So we're gonna have a look now at how the AS level shells look like. So the first shell actually there's not that much difference. Right? Um, we refer to it as first shell, so we put a big one in there. Now the S here is a one S shell. The S signifies what shape does that shell take? Does that orbital is the word we use to describe it? And for a 1S orbital, it's a sphere. Okay, like a football. The nucleus is in the bang in the middle. And so the electrons, the two electrons that can fit in here, will occupy that sort of volume, the volume of the sphere. Okay, that's where you're likely to find them in a sphere around the nucleus. Now, the second shell, actually, when we look at it a bit more closely, we can subdivide it into two orbitals. One is a lower energy than the other one. I should have mentioned, actually, <clears throat> going up here, we're going up in energy. Round that way. Okay, that's energy, low energy, a bit higher energy, but even higher energy. So the second shell is subdivided into two energies. Now, there are eight electrons in total, and we can put two of those eight electrons in this lower energy bit, and then the other six electrons need to go in this higher energy bit. Now, the lower energy sort of subshell here is what we refer to as two, because we're in the second energy level. This is another S orbital, so this is another sphere, just like this one, but a bit bigger. Now we can fit two electrons in there, so we show 2s2. And now this one, a little bit higher in energy, we can, we, second, second energy level. But this time, this is what we refer to as a P orbital. Now we can, as you can see, put six electrons in a P orbital. So there's eight electrons in total, just as we told you at GCSE, but they're subdivided into a 2 and a 6. So this S, again, the shape is going to be an orb, uh, a sphere, bigger than the sphere for the first one, but a sphere nevertheless, and those two electrons will be taken, the, the, the found in that sphere. Now this P orbital, draw it a bit over here for you, can be subdivided into three bits. Now they are, they are what we call a dumbbell shape. Now... And draw this a bit for you Leo. Draw it like this first, then I'll explain to you what I'm drawing in a second. Okay. 
Now, what I'm trying to draw here are three dumbbells. Now, imagine you're in the gym and you're working out and you're lifting weights. You're lifting what we refer to as a dumbbell. So a dumbbell is thin in the middle and wider on the outside. So this would be blue one would be one dumbbell. This red one would be another one. Different dumbbell. And in the green colour, this would be the third dumbbell. So there are three P orbitals effectively. A blue one, where you'd find a couple of these electrons maybe. They're not actually blue in colour, we don't know what colour they are, but I'm putting in here a green one and a red one. So there will be basically two electrons spending their time in this blue region. Two electrons in there. Two electrons spending their time in this red region. Two in there. And two electrons spending their time in this green region. Okay. So, 1s2, 2s2. Now, the third shell. The third shell is actually subdivided into three sections. At AS level, when we look at things a bit more closely. And quite a bit more to it in GCSE. This is one of the areas where there's a, quite a big jump between GCSE and AS level. So here we have the three, so you're going to find it in the third energy level. This one's an S, so it's, all, it's one of these spheres. We've got a 3P, so we've got the three dumbbells again, P orbitals. And this time we've got a 3D orbital as well. Now, for sodium, we only need to worry about our one electron that needs to go in there. And that's 3s1, and that's going to occupy uh, a sphere again. Nothing in the 3p and nothing in the 3d. There's that sphere, bigger sphere again this time, because it's further away from the nucleus. So if we were drawing out the electron configuration for sodium at as level, we'd have to go 1s2. 2s2, 3s2, and, oh no, my bad, sorry, 2p, get it right, 6, 3s, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Now you can show with electrons in boxes as well. We sometimes like this in AS level. So this box signifies this first energy level. And the two electrons are often drawn like that, like a two like one-headed arrows. Um, and they one arrow must go up, the other must go down. It's to do with the spin of the electrons. Don't worry about that now. 2s, 1s2, and then we can do the same sort of single box for the 2s2. And again, two electrons in there. And then for our p orbital, we like to draw three boxes. Because, if you remember, there are three dumbbells. The red, the blue, and the green. So 2p6... And we like to fill them separately because remember these electrons are negatively charged so if they can they will separate out as much as possible but obviously they can't here because we've got six of them they have to go in each two in each one and then finally our 3s1 and that's only one electron in there 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 that's sodium Now, potassium's electron structure. So potassium is element number 19. So at GCSE, you probably would have drawn potassium. Two electrons in the first shell. 8 electrons in the second shell. Eight electrons in the third shell. Getting big now. Look at the rubbish shell. Sorry about that. And 
count them in, 2, 10, 18. So we need one more shell to hold just one little electron. There we go. And if you were drawing it out, you would always have um, 2, 8, 8, 1. So how does that look at GCSE, uh, at AS level rather? So we're going to take these four shells now and we're going to try and zoom in on them here. So lowest shell, first shell, second shell, third shell, and fourth shell okay so let's translate these shells to our new as shells so that would be if you remember one signify the first shell s because the shape of it is our s orbital our sphere and for potassium we were able to put two in there if you remember so we can put we put a, I'm going to show you use arrows here because you quite often see that. Remember the boxes and the arrows we saw earlier for sodium. So two shells in the 1S and we're going to show it like that. Now the two, the second energy level, if you remember, it's subdivided into two subshells. We had our sphere with 2S. We can get the two in there. I shall use the arrows again. But we have eight electrons in total in this second energy level, so we need to put six of them into this second part of the second energy level, which is the 2p. And I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, there are three p orbitals. Uh, three, yeah, p orbitals. Three dumbbells, first dumbbell, second dumbbell, third dumbbell. Um, one in the X plane, the other in the Y plane, the other in the Z plane. Okay, now, the third energy level. We can subdivide this now into three. We know for sodium earlier, we just needed to use one of them. We're going to need to use a bit more here because there's more electrons in potassium. So, 3S... So it's a sphere shape. We can take two of the electrons that are in this third energy level. And we can draw these as little arrows there. Then I'm going to draw 3P. And remember, that's three dumbbells. Each dumbbell can take two, so that's six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's count them in so far now. Two and eight makes ten. Twelve. 18 so far we only need one more so we're going to pop it into now you might think oh let's pop it into this one because that was the 3d but you'd be wrong to do that because to complicate things more this fourth energy level is subdivided into three but oh, you're not going to like this but i'm afraid this is how you're going to be able to deal with it the lowest energy level in the fourth shell is actually lower in energy than the highest energy level in the third shell. So what I'm saying to you here is the 4S gets filled up before the 3D does. So the one electron we have to put in on the outer shell of potassium actually goes into this 4S there not into the 3D, as you would imagine it would go. So that's quite a tricky little thing you need to remember. So, drawing out potassium. 1S, 2. 2S, 2. 2P, 6. 3S, 2, 3P, 6, 4S, 
one. Yeah, so for GCSE, that would have been our two electrons. That would have been our eight electrons. That would have been our eight electrons. And that would be our one electron. And if you like the boxes, then we would draw 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3 is 2 3 p6 and 4 is 1 can I squeeze it in? there it is there we go and remember the shapes dumbbell oh, sorry not dumbbell sphere I'm trying to say sphere spread it over here Dumbbell, three dumbbells. Oh. Hopefully that makes sense. So I can't remember what colours I used. There's a red before. That would be in the X plane. Two mathematician types. This green one would be in the Z plane coming towards you and away from you. And this blue one would be in the Y plane. So sometimes they are known as PX, sorry, PY rather, PX and PZ. Either way, each of them can take two electrons. So there's two electrons in the PZ there, there's two electrons in the PY, and there are two electrons. In the PX. 3S dumbbell, uh, oh, not dumbbell sphere, trying to say. Then 3P, back in this situation again, I'm not running it out again. And then 4S is dumbbell, no sphere, just checking. And then 3D, you don't want to know because they're actually there are five different orbitals there, but if you can understand this for now. And I think that's taking us a long way to where we want to be at AS level.